Hi everyone, welcome to this course on creating beautiful graphs in a web browser with no coding knowledge. In this course, I'm going to take you through a web application that will allow you to create really gorgeous graphs that are ready to be included in a manuscript for submission in journal publications, dissertation or thesis. This course is particularly suitable for people who have no previous knowledge of coding in R. People who want to plot creative and beautiful graphs using R as compared to boring graphs of Excel and SPSS. I'm assuming that if you are taking this course, you are either a researcher, professor, undergrad student, or postgrad student, or anybody else who would be interested in data visualization using R. And also, I would assume that you may not have money to buy expensive software such as students and researchers do not have enough money to buy expensive commercial softwares. So I think this is the perfect uh, tool to plot your data. I'd like to offer my special thanks to Professor Kyon Ong Moon from Catholic University Korea. Uh, he is the one who developed this web application. And I'd like to recommend, highly recommend his book Learn ggplot2 using Shiny App, which, has include, which includes everything that I will discuss today. The course outline will be, I'll, in the first lesson, I'll give a brief introduction to the web application itself and I'll def define different sections, what are the included ways in where to upload the data, uh, where to look at the data, and where to look at the graphs. I'll be covering the most commonly used uh, graphs that are, uh, that are used in scientific literature in medical and health sciences. So I'll cover histogram, scatter plot, box plot, violent plot, zero plot, bar diagram, Cleveland plots, and multi-plots. And if, I, if time remains, I'll talk a little bit more about different other plots as well. Okay? Hi guys, let's start the first lesson. The first lesson will be introduction to the website that hosts the web application, all right? So the name of the website is rgraph.com. Okay? Now in this landing page, you will see different information, different messages, but the one that's important to us is the ggplot one, which will allow us to create beautiful graphs, right? So yeah, there are a couple of servers that are available, so I choose the server that's nearest to your place. So I'm in Dublin, so I'll choose London. Okay, let's see what happens. Sometimes it could take a little bit of time. I'm not sure why, but it depends on the internet speed and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so it's coming. Right. Okay. So, so once this landing page is there, you will see a message, and it says that please wait a minute. The message disappeared when disappeared when ready. So just wait for a second. Even sometimes, yeah, you might have to wait for a minute or something. Okay. So the message message disappeared, and you have got the uh, quick information on. Uh, what what other things you can do that and uh, what do with this uh, application all right you can select the language um, make sure that ggplot is clicked properly now um, this is the place where you upload your data that you want to plot so most of the times I think the Excel file and the CSV file are preferred over other methods because I have tried uh, uploading SPSS and Stata files and it showed a little bit of error when computing some of the graphs so I would prefer always uh, upload the Excel file and CSV files and now let's browse and upload the data right let's go to desktop desktop and the traffic data where's the traffic data where is it? Traffic data. Okay, what's that? Since it's upload complete, make sure it comes over here as well. The uploaded file. Click uploaded file. And see over here. Okay, change. Enter the name of the data. Change. If it changed uploaded, then that's good. Now, this table will show. So if you click here, it will always show the data tables. So this table would show what are the variables, which are the categorical variables, which are the numerical variable within this this data set. All right. And uh, now there is another section over here, which will allow you to put the variables, such as what 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 particular variable to put as x-axis, what to put as y-axis. All right. 
and if you plot the two things and what what are the colors that you want to use for the particular data points if that's a box plot what do we want to feel with that box plot like um, you know we will want that about but later different variables to plot okay so these are the different um, modif layers that you can add up in the in the graph and the geometry options means like what kind of graph you want to make whether it's point means a scatter plot count probably it's a density plot or something and you can sometimes write uh, make text text plots as well you can fit curves you can make a jitter plot bar plot histogram density box plot violin plot dot plot and there are heaps of others as well so it's a full flexibility to use these things all right and the other options you will have uh, more add more layers such as you want to change the color of the palette you can do it as well you wanna, if you want to add a different label to the graph you can do here as well so that all fits heaps of things which we will learn later and you can apply different themes here I will talk to talk about that a bit later in different different lectures all right um, and you can download as journals generally require 300 dpi and 300 ppi or something so you can change it to 600 ppi or something right so something like that and then you can download the graph as pdf or a figure or powerpoint presentation or you can save it to multiplot so if you plot a graph and save it to multiplot so that you can put poor poor graphs together you can do that as well all right so that's the basic introduction to the website now in the next lecture we're going to talk about how to plot a histogram all right so as long as you are confident with opening the website and no different sections within the website you should be good to go for the next lesson thanks guys see you in the next lesson